What's up, everybody? It's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, May 29th, 2024, and this is the weekly comic book pickups video. Every week I buy comic books, I buy them for myself, I buy them for my kids, I buy them at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio. Zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comic books, check out the comic shop, and while you're over there, head a mile down the road and check out the toy department, why don't you? All right, let's jump in. First of all, here's a older book for Gracie because she had nothing new today. I went in the Disney back issues and I grabbed this Walt Disney Comics and Stories issue 575, a whopping 64 pages for three bucks. Uh, why not? Why not get a whopping 64 pages for three bucks? I mean, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be mad about you doing it. Let's see, we got some random. Old school Disney. We got some Pinocchio. There's some Donald Duck at the beginning. There's some Mickey. Some Goofy. We're big Disney fans. So this is going to be fun. This will be fun for her. She's going to have a bunch of Disney stuff to read. All right. Now it's all current stuff. I uh, grabbed this for Keaton. William of Newberry. There were two Star Wars comics, which we're going to find out about in a minute here. And Keaton reads both of them. So I had to grab copies for him to stash until a different time where he doesn't have other comics because I saw this William of Newberry <clears throat> from Dark Horse, issue one. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and I had to grab grab it, this Michael Avon Oming who did Powers. Um, it just looked very much up Keaton's alley. It's a raccoon. And he's got sort of this like, almost like a wizard type outfit or like a adventurer, a medieval adventurer type of outfit on, and uh, it looked like it was fun, it looked like it was up Keaton's alley, because he likes, you know, mythic legions, and he likes the sword and sorcery type of stuff, and he likes, an he likes the anthropomorphic, 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 you know what I mean, he likes the talking animals, um, a serious nuisance of Buckinghamshire, so I thought, this is up his alley, this is, seems like something he's gonna dig on, and it's, it looks cool. It looks very Mike Mignola-esque. Mike Mignola-esque is what it reminds me of. Uh, here we go. Next up is a book for Blaze. This is Creature from the Black Lagoon, issue two, from Image and Skybound, part of their Universal Monsters comic universe. Uh, this was $4.99, in case I didn't say that. I went ahead and got the variant cover, because it was cool. Uh, I have not read the first one, but we've got Dan Waters and Ram V doing the writing. And Matthew Roberts doing the art with Dave Stewart doing the colors. I don't know what it's about. I don't know if it's good. I know it's got Creature from the Black Lagoon in it. And he is probably the coolest looking universal monster. So there's that. And then the rest are for me. So we got Django Fett number two, number three. I'm sorry, I'm going to say number two. This is $3.99. The Hunters Become the Bounty. Cool cover by Linnell Francis Yu there. We got Ethan Sachs doing the writing and Luke Ross doing the art. I am not caught up on this. I have not read this yet. Um, but Keaton did read it, and he said it was good so far. Looks like we got some R.S. Singh action in there, which hopefully this series better explains why Boba Fett is in her custody after Attack of the Clones into Clone Wars. And then last but not least, we've got Darth Maul, Black, White, and Red, Issue 2. And just like Issue 1, I went ahead and grabbed the variants because they were cool. Like, this one's great. This one's awesome. And uh, that's the regular, which is the one we'll look through. And this one's cool, too. These are both cool covers. They're all three cool covers. Five nine nine. Both the variants are cooler, I think, than the regular one. I did read the first one of this, and it was good. I enjoyed it so far. Before the Fall of Anakin Skywalker and the Rise of Vader... Darcy has trained another disciple in the secrets of the Sith Order. This apprentice was a mysterious, mysterious warrior of Dathomir who left the path of death and destruction as he made his way through the galaxy. Um, yeah, so the first one was good. I enjoyed it. It was kind of like... Um, I think they're going to be sort of standalone stories. Just stories of Darth Maul. The first one was kind of was kind of brutal and kind of dark. So I'm, I'm excited about reading this one. Did I see who the creators were? I don't know if I did. Mark Russell, Car Carlos Nieto? I don't know. Uh, that is it. That is it this week. If you read comics, leave a comment down below. If you enjoy the videos, like, subscribe, notify. 
that's all that's all there is see you guys next week goodbye